the in vitro express this is uh, for tissue culture um, so uh, tissue culture probably you have all um, uh, heard about that and, and maybe have had, had experience uh, with this a little bit here and there uh, plant tissue culture it's a method of uh, propagation again it's uh, mainly done in the laboratory it's in the lab it's technically known as micro propagation because you're dealing with the micro plant material like micro shoots uh, instead of saying shoots or vegetative plant material, you say micro shoots because these are dealing with sp small plants. It's a uh, plant tissue culture involves growing plant cells in vitro uh, in a soil closed environment, uh, providing all the nutrients that are required. And plant tissue culture is used to produce clones, exactly a true copy of its parent. Okay, so uh, this is a great tool to to produce healthy, clean plant material and in large numbers. So there are different stages. I'm not going to walk you uh, all, with all details, but there are four stages mainly. Stage two, initiation, you take the small plant tissue and start establishing that, and then, and then, uh, it, then you basically establish in stage one. Stage two, you, where you proliferate, you uh, change the, new, uh, the uh, hormone concentrations, mainly cytokinins, and uh, the, and you promote the shoot growth. You can proliferate, you can multiply, okay? And then you get the shoots, and you take the shoot tip cutting or, or depending on what culture you're doing, and then you root them out in the lab. So this is called stage three. So this is in vitro rooting. You can do in the lab, or you can do in the greenhouse. Uh, if you're dealing with the sensitive plant material, and if you're de dealing with the problematic plant material, the stage three lab rooting is recommended. And after that, then you transplant into the greenhouse for acclimatization. So now the product I'm going to talk is mainly for stage three rooting. Of course, we have products for stage three rooting ex vitro, several products, including a root cube product and other products. But I'm, now I'm going to mainly focus on stage three in vitro rooting. Okay. Typically, tissue culture is done on agar, the gel. Um, and agar can limit the water availability. It's great with water absorption, but the release is not great, and it, it also limits the oxygen availability. Okay, of course, again, we are propagators, right? It all comes down to the air-water ratio, okay? So again, the problem with the agar is uh, it really doesn't allow the water uh, to be taken up by the plant material, okay? And also, agar media contains sugar. Of course, any tissue culture media contains sugar. It needs to be washed out thoroughly before transplanting. If you don't wash out, then you will have disease and mold growth and all kinds of other problems. When you're washing, you may end up breaking the roots and you're damaging the roots and you're, uh, and you're uh, basically creating a transplant shock. So those are the, some of the disadvantages with agar. Okay. Uh, so, so what is this IVE, in vitro express? Basically, what it is, is it makes uh, liquid culture possible. It makes uh, you to grow in liquid culture. Liquid culture is one of the most popular cultures in tissue culture. It makes, uh, you know, uh, but the problem is, if you don't really control the liquid, you will have hyperhidricity, which is a problem, absorbs too much water and all that stuff. Basically, with the engineered foam, you can make liquid culture available in a much more designed and uh, desirable environment with optimal air, okay? So IVE, it's a tissue culture grade propagation media, and uh, basically you add exactly everything the same, uh, the sugars, the hormones, and exactly the same amount of nutrients uh, without agar and then just autoclave it and then you can start using it. Here is a quick rundown pictorial representation. So you take the IVE, add the liquid media, you autoclave it, and then once it's autoclaved, when you're autoclaving, just add the same media except sugar, right? So you add that, autoclave it, and then you, you, here is your micro shoot. Stick your micro shoot in the, in the IVE and then root them out in, your, in a controlled environment. For, uh, it takes about three to four weeks or even longer than that or shorter than that, depending on the crop you're growing. And then after four weeks, these plants are ready for transplant. Here, when you're ready for, to transplant, just take a hose and a breaker and flush all the sugar that is in the cubes uh, with the fertilizer solution. And immediately after that, 
these are ready for transplant. Just separate these cubes and you can transplant the cube with the roots intact without, ramp, without breaking them, damaging them. You can transplant them into the propagation media and then you're good to go. You can uh, have a, a successful acclimatizing plant. I'll walk you through that in the next slides. So IVE is available in different configure, uh, different uh, cell counts, 20 count, 30 count, and several other sizes are there available. And we have also a rigid vessel with a with a vent uh, uh, to conduct the tissue culture. Okay. Here are some of the features and benefits. Um, it is autoclavable. That's the number one feature, of course, important for tissue culture. It is autoclavable, and it doesn't bind any nutrients or liquid. It makes it freely available. So as I said, it makes readily available the liquid and it can you can do the the culture in a liquid environment with uh, with a uh, optimal amount of oxygen. And also there are other things that are uh, very we already talked about that several times with, with other products. But your main thing is that sugars in the foam rinses out easily. You can just flush it. You don't have to wash it. You just flush it out, and then microplants are ready for uh, for transplant. Basically, when you're transplanting. The roots are tucked inside that foam, and the damage or the disturbance, the roots is minimal. Okay, so that's about the IVE and the rigid vessel. This is a high quality rigid. Uh, this is a, a high high quality construct. It's a. I'm sorry. It's a polycarbonate, highly purified polycarbonate. The light transmission is great, and even after repeated usage in the autoclave, it will not compromise the the transparency will not be compromised and you have complete permeation of the light and uh, and you have you can have a great uh, culture uh, again and again uh, because this is a polycarbonate again typically if you're using a polyethylene and and other types of material uh, it will affect the light permeation after a period of time uh, and as I said there is a vent it's a bit made with the PTFE material and you can close the vent or open the vent, uh, especially like for example, when you're beginning the culture, you want to close it. And then after, once the plant material is established, you want to open it and then uh, uh, allow it to, um, to, uh, to vent the, the gas, uh, to make the gas exchange possible, okay? Uh, it's much bigger than a standard magenta vessel. It's 1.6 uh, times bigger and um, and basically, uh, a lot of uh, uh, circular cylindrical vessels are used, but if you're using a square construct, uh, you can use your uh, propagation space much more effectively in your tissue culture lab. Okay, here are some of the major advantages. Uh, superior in vitro root growth. Rooting occurs in a well aerated uh, cellular structure, so ample oxygen. So that promotes a vigorous and fibrous root system. Okay, and number two is I already mentioned protects the roots and minimizes the mechanical disturbance to the roots during transplant because if transplanting with the foam and the roots intact, these are the disturbance to the roots is minimal. Significantly cuts down the labor costs. If you are looking at tissue culture, 60% of the labor uh, the costs in tissue culture are labor related, uh, a lot of handling. This cuts down that, and also the most important thing is. Uh, that because the disturbance to the roots is minimal, the damage to the roots is minimal, the acclimatization and establishment in the greenhouse is going to be faster and easier, and the growth in the greenhouse is going to be faster. On certain crops, uh, we have uh, heard from the, uh, the, the the commercial tissue culture labs that they're cutting down the, prop the production time by 25%. I'm not saying that on every crop, but on certain crops, we are seeing that a significant cut down on the production time. So this is a, a very important thing. We always talk about the roots, but again, if you're dealing with uh, agar, you can't really protect those roots. And uh, with this system, you can protect and then improve the performance and establishment in the greenhouse. Okay, what crops? Any crop that is of high value and it is done in vitro, ornamentals, uh, these are some of the examples, heucheras, echinacea, hellebores, uh, small fruits, uh, a lot of interest uh, for fruit crops we are having from blueberry, blackberry, raspberries, and so on. And, and extremely high interest with the rootstock uh, production for fruit crops like uh, almonds, pistachios, and so on. 
like um, uh, so to pro for the production of rootstock material uh, in the tissue culture lab. Again, plantation crops, forestry crops, of course, uh, medicinal crops uh, you, uh, um, for, to do uh, in a tissue culture production. Okay, uh, last uh, few slides. Uh, again, uh, the, you're doing a, a liquid culture here. So it's extremely important to do some uh, so to do some initial trials in your lab to identify what is the optimal media volume. For example, uh, the standard 35 count holds about 120 milliliters of water in media. It's 100%. We we recommend to run some trials with 85% uh, levels, 75% to identify what is the optimal level for your plant material that you're dealing with. So once you do that for, uh, initial screening, after that you should be able to scale up into your commercial production. But definitely we recommend, a lot of times, most of the uh, plant material is responding with 85% uh, media holding capacity, and then 50% is uh, air. Uh, but it definitely, I encourage you to, if you're looking at, encourage you to do some, run some trials, okay? Um, it's autoclavable at the media first, and autoclave standard autoclaving cycle. It's one, uh, it's 30, uh, 30 minutes, 121 degrees C. Uh, 15 uh, PSI, the standard autoclaving cycle you can run. Uh, and then, like a vegetative cutting, the sticking depth is extremely important. The standard uh, IVE is 2.5 centimeters. The recommended depth is not deeper than 1.25. You don't want to stick deeper than 1.25 centimeters, okay? And after that, I think I already walked you through some of these slides that when it's ready to be transplanted, just take them out flush the uh, sugars that are in there, and then separate these cubes and transplant into your propagation plugs, okay? And acclimatize the plant material as required. So these are the wide variety of crops that you can do, floriculture, food, and, and uh, any other uh, crop of interest for you.